Hey guys, how you doing? It's KevTech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. Um, today should be a quick video. Let me move my mic closer to me. Um, I want to go over Mac OS X um, Catalina real quick and I just want to show you what you could do on it. Um, it's just going to be a quick video. It shouldn't take that long. I, I, uh, I know people are having trouble installing this. This is a beta version. You have to understand that it's a beta version. So you're going to have bugs and glitches and stuff like that. I literally had to restart the... the um, virtual machine two times in a row just to get it to up just to get it up and running but i want to show you what you could do on the operating system and i also want to go over it um it should be a quick video hopefully and i'm a little i'm still like a little sick today so i'm i'm, I'm gonna make this quick video and then wrap it up after that um so let's go over this right now i felt like i had to make a video today so because you guys haven't seen videos from me in a while so anyway so just like the other operating systems obviously the start menu if you want to call the start menu or the Apple menu is on the top left hand side. Um, you have your system preferences, you have your recent items, you have your finder, you have your fi uh, file, edit, view, go, windows, help. Um, for some people that answer your questions, I, I'm reading I'm reading the comments. If you need to enable your, your network card, you need to go into network card on virtual machine and you need to make it NAT. And you have to click enable network card and then hit uh, cable connected. This will help you actually enable the the network on this on this particular VM. If you want for me to answer that question, people are getting a bunch of error messages. You probably need to reinstall um, the operating system, or you probably need to run the commands again. The commands are probably not being run properly on this. And also keep in mind that I'm running commands for um, AMD. There are commands for Intel as well. I, I put all the links on, on the description below in my last video, so you got to look at all that. Pick the right one, the right one that goes with your, you know, with your operating system, with your computer, your make and model, because if you have an Intel computer, you have to run a series of commands for Intel. If you have an AMD computer, you have to run a series of commands for AMD, so it's different for both. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, so yeah, so they have podcasts, Apple TV. And just like just like anything else, you know, obviously you have your Spotify. So if you need to search for a document or something, you can just do it in here. Um, you could uh, create a new folder. We call it like tests. And like just like Spotify, Spotify is very smart. It it tells you where the file is. It, it immediately looks for that particular folder or file, and then it, it actually tells you where it is, and it actually brings you to that location. If that makes sense and then you have your force quit which is like your task manager and you could just force quit anything you need to force quit um, I want to go over disk utility which is an, an application that allows you to do partitions and stuff like that you have your first aid you have your partition you have info if you need one if you want to have more information about it and how it's set up you go in here other things to look at is going into you can hit, hit home, you could do uh, undergo, you could go into your your uh, applications, which is what I'm going to go over right now. You know, you have you have your regular application, you have chess. This is like to find my device. You have your launch pad, just like the same as the other operating systems. You have your camera, if you have a camera installed. Um, you have your QuickTime player, you have your podcast, you have Siri. You have your time machine if you need to go back in time doing like some sort of system restore like you would do on windows you have your utilities activity monitor obviously your activity monitor is it's going to be like your your task manager so what's there's between this and and this like force quit is to force quit is to force quit an application um an application that's running here you here it goes more in depth and basically you could kill anything that's running um, it's right here so you just click on this and basically completely get rid of it so that's basically what activity monitor is I'm just gonna close out of that and you want to quit it out you can quit it and then you have your your um, airport utility you have your uh, Bluetooth Bootcamp assistance is to install another operating system. So if you want to install Windows 7, 8, or 10, you could do you could do that with Bootcamp assistance. You have your cutter sync utility. It's just like the basically the, dis the display and stuff like that. Display drivers and stuff like that. Filters. You have your console command if you wanna if you wanna look at that. Um, you have your digital cutter. You have your your 
disk utility, which is what I went over. You have your keychain access. This is where all your passwords are stored on your computer. So if you ever want to delete a password that's stored on your computer, you go here and delete it. So if you have any passwords that you you think that are, are not that you might want to get rid of, you could get rid of it here. You could also export that password and create a file and put it on another computer. If you need to do that, you could do it in here, if that makes sense. Um, you have your screenshot. If you want to take a screenshot of your computer, you could do that here. Um, you have your script editor and you have your system information. If you want to find out more information about your system, you can do it in here. Um, hardware, firmware, this is what you have here. Your terminal is basically your CMD of, of, of Apple. They have one for Windows, you know, Windows 10 CMD. It's pretty much the same thing. Like if you want to, for example, ping google.com, you do ping google.com. Um, it's the same thing. You could do ping google.com. But my, this is not on the network, so it's fine. Um, and you have um, IF config, and you have you have a few other commands you could do on this. And you have your voice voiceover utility. Um, like I said, you go to force quit. You could quit out any applications I need to get rid of that are that look like they're still running on the background. Because some stuff stays lingered on the background, you want to get rid of it. You could get rid of it here. Uh, let's go over system preferences. You have your general tab. You could put it in dark mode. You could put it in auto. You could put it in light. This is some of the this is some of the things that the operating system comes with, and that you could you could just change the background now. It's not like before. You could change some settings on it. You could change the way the background looks. Um, you have your desktop and screensaver. You have your your um, screensaver right here. If you want to add a screensaver, you could do that. Um, screensaver options. It's a lot of stuff here you could do. I'll let you play around with it if you want, once you're um, once you're connected to this uh, operating system on your VM. It's a lot you could do on this mission control. There's notifications. These are like notifications that you you want to set up for messengers, messaging messengers or messages. Sorry, photos, reminders, Safari, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you have your internet accounts. If you need to add like your email and stuff like that, that you would do it in here. You have your user and groups. Do you want to add? An, you want to create a new user group? You could just you know unlock the key, unlock. This doesn't have a password. Um, it's basically what it is. Mine's a little, mine, mine's a little messed up, which is totally fine. Totally fine. I'll put it to sleep by accident. Um, mine, mine is, mine is completely messed up. So, yeah. So, go back to this. You have your screen time. If you want to change that, you could change the screen time. So it's a limitation. You have a constant privacy. You have your options. You have your accessibility. You have your language and region spotlight. Obviously, I talked about spotlight. So if you need to search for a specific document, you could do it in there. Um, you have your extensions as well. And you have a few other things here you could do. And my my uh, my uh, my VM is like really really slow. Just totally fine. And I'll open it again. You have your la language and regions. If you want to add another another language here, you could do it in here. It's entirely up to you. You can change the keyboard preferences. You have your you have your um, keyboards. You could add another keyboard in there. You have your apps. You have your spotlight, which is what I went over. Like what what does it search for? You could actually tell it what to search for. Like instead of searching like applications, you could tell it to search just specifically for folders or fonts or whatever or or images. And it's entirely up to you. You could uncheck it here and just change. It. You can make shortcuts as well. But it, there's a lot of stuff you could do on this on on uh, Spotlight. You have your extensions, which typically is just stuff that that comes with you know just extensions that come with with um, with the Mac. With the Mac, with the operating system, 
Um, you have your display, change the color. You have your energy saver if you want to set up uh, how long your computer sleeps, how long the display stays on. You have your, obviously you have your sound settings. If you want to change your sound settings, you do that, date and time. You could you could add another another uh, time zone if you like. That's entirely up to you. Keyboard. You also have your text shortcuts. You have your mouse settings. You could change your mouse settings if you like. Software updates. We already talked about that. Let's so change your updates. Security and privacy right over here. Um, you could set um, allow apps to download from App Store and identify developers. Let's see if it lets me do this. You have your firewall, your firewall and privacy. Yeah, my uh, my my virtual machine is a little low. It looks a little wonky. You know, it acts wonky sometimes. Firewall. Um, firewall privacy. Um, you also have uh, sharing. So if you want to share specific things, you could do that here. You have your, obviously you have your network. This is not connected, which is totally fine. Um, inside a network, there's the advanced settings. So DHCP, DNS, proxy, hardware. If you want to change any of this, you can do it here. Um, printers. If you want to add a printer, you do it here. You add a printer, and then you just you just pick the printer you want to add. If that makes sense, you got it through IP, and then select the driver you want to add it with. It's a similar to the other operating system. It just has a little bit of other st of additional stuff added to it. Here, if you want to back anything up, you do Time Machine. You have your options there as well. Um, startup disk, which is things things that you, like you have your operating system. So you can add multiple operating systems. So you could start on a different operating system if that makes sense. It's entirely up to you. And you have your CDs and DVDs. So yeah, that's pretty much most of um, uh, Mac and the whole operating system. So if you want to search for a file, you know you have your Spotlight, which is similar to uh, similar to Windows. Like if you want to search for a file, like if you want to search Adobe, you know it will be. You know, it'll be there. It's a, it's a search box. It's a search engine. Um, obviously, CMD, command prompt, is called terminal on a Mac machine. Um, your task manager, um, it's not here. Task manager is, is, um, is, it should be there, but I didn't put it as a shortcut, but let me just close out of this. You know, your, your task, your task manager, it's your activity monitor, pretty much. Just you know, just it's just the, it's the same thing. It's just you know, it's a, it's a Mac machine. You know, it's, it's the same. It's similar. So, just a little stuff you got. You stuff you need to know. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. If you have issues creating your virtual machine, let me know. I seen emails people having issues with it. You got to restart it. You might have to follow some extra steps. You might be installing the wrong one with Intel and AMD. Um, you can't now install this on your um, computer as the main operating system. I mean, you can, but it'll be very unstable. I wouldn't recommend it. This is a beta version, so that, that's that's the reason why it acts a little crazy. But with that being said, that's an overview of Mac Catalina. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day and a, ha and a happy Sunday, all right? Take care. Bye.